Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. Guess what? I have been working really hard to revise and create a better rendering for the 2024 Toyota 4Runner, which is a sixth generation. We all love the 4Runner and we can't wait to see the new one, but it could be a year to year and a half away, right into maybe 2024 mid-year perhaps. We don't know the exact timing yet, but in the meantime, we can continue to speculate what this thing might look like. As you know, I have been uh, producing a number of renderings for the 2024 Forerunner, and everybody ha has been talking about it and they're happy with what I created. But you know what? I have not been happy with it because the more I think about it, the more I think the Forerunner could take a slight different direction in terms of front design. My initial rendering or image I created looks more like a Land Cruiser 300 series, and that would have been fine if the Forerunner was going to be sold in Japan, but the new version, I think, will continue not to be sold in Japan, and therefore it should have a more of a North American look and feel, much like the new Tacoma and the new Tanja, which I own. So I finally came up with a revised drawing and image, which I believe will be closer to what the new 2024 400 will look like. So let me explain to you how I came up with the image and show you what's going on. Let's go. Welcome back. So as you know, I absolutely love all things to do with Forerunner. So I'm super excited about the upcoming Forerunner, which is a sixth generation. Even though, who knows, we might not like the, uh, all the changes that, that will happen at that point. You know what, it's still very exciting. And for almost a year now, I have been talking about the future of the Forerunner in terms of design, the engineering, the powertrain. And today I'm so excited to show you my latest rendering for 2024 Forerunner because I have been working on it for a few months now to try to update it to what I think the Forerunner will actually look like. As you know, a year ago when I created a new Forerunner, I got a lot of reaction from you guys in the sense that you absolutely loved it. But that one is kind of based off the Land Cruiser 300 series, no longer sold in the US right now, but still sold in Asia. And we assumed, or I assumed I should say, that the next gen Forerunner will have some similarity to the 300 series. And that's how I came up with uh, the previous rendering. But the more I think about it, I really think that the new Forerunner will change its design to mimic what is going to happen with the upcoming Tacoma, which will also be released in 2023, mid-year perhaps, as a 2024. So I went back to the drawing board literally and changed most of the exterior design and the headlight design and the grille design. Uh, because now it looks kind of like a hybrid between the Tundra, the current Forerunner, as well as the upcoming Tacoma. And the uh, upcoming Tacoma is the only one we have a pretty good idea what it's going to look like because Akio Toyota showed something similar to what could be the next Tacoma last year in December when he did a kind of like an all-media meeting to showcase what's coming ahead for Toyota and Lexus. So that gives us a lot of confidence that the foreigner could have some of those design elements. So here's a rendering I came up with. This is my latest one. And even though at first glance, it looks similar to the one I did before, I actually made a lot of changes. What did I actually do? Well, a few things. One is that I kept the tri-beam headlight, which isn't the case with this one. This is a 2021 Forerunner Limited. But the tri-beam headlight is on a number of Toyota models, such as the Tundra. And so I can pretty well assume on the flagship Forerunner, it will have the tri-beam LED headlights. But here's where it gets a little bit tricky because underneath the headlight, uh, in my previous drawing, I assumed that it's going to adopt some of the Land Cruiser 300 series look and feel, which doesn't have a teardrop uh, secondary light. That teardrop design is very much uh, evident in the Tundra and also in a smaller scale with the new Tacoma. And so I think the Forerunner will have at least some form of that shape. So what I did was to take some design cues from a Tacoma that uh, Mr. Akio Toyota have shown in December and took that and massaged it and make it look more like a Forerunner style. And I added a teardrop right here, a very bold, very uh, massive in terms of the size, but it kind of gives Forerunner that character. So I, that's what I did to the headlight area. And then secondly, the grille, which is a, perhaps the most important part. So all Toyota has uh, this kind of trapezoidal uh, grille, which is smaller at the top, and it tears down to the bottom and it gets wider. This is a standard Toyota shape, but in the Land Cruiser 300, this is flipped around where it's a little bit wider on the top and it goes narrower on the bottom. And that's how I based my previous rendering. But once again, when I think about it, I think 
the Forerunner will carry over with this typical Toyota style. So I've reshaped and redesigned that grille and now it's shamelessly stolen from the new Sequoia grille. It's not exactly the same, but the shape is similar because it makes sense for the Forerunner to carry some of the design themes from the new Sequoia, which just came out now. So my new rendering, the grille is more of a dish shape, but it has the insert similar to what you might find in other Toyota models, especially the new Sequoia. I made the grille size more or less the same as the one I did before, so no, not much change over there. And I kept some of the uh, functional scoop on the side, both right and left side, so I kept that. It's pretty prominent still. And that's why the front end looks more like a cross between a Tundra, Tacoma, and the Forerunner. And therefore, from my perspective anyway, it might be closer to what the new Forerunner will really look like. Now, I'm going to reiterate the fact that this is purely my imagination and my concept and my design is not anything official from Toyota because no one has actually seen the sixth generation Forerunner. Nowhere in the world. There's no spy photos, no scoops. No one in Japan has seen it. So it's very difficult to accurately predict what the future will look like. Now, because I'm also predicting that the Forerunner's production will stay at the Tahara factory in Japan, where the Forerunner and the Lexus GX are both produced. So I think sometime, who knows, in six to eight month time, maybe there'll be some spy photos because at some point, they have to take the prototype out of the factory. And uh, there's quite a few people that uh, loves cars that live in the area. Um, who might see it outside and could potentially post the photograph down the road. So it might only be six months away before we begin to see some form of images or rendering from outside and then we can update the drawing to mimic that new design. But until that happens, everything is still pure speculation. But as you know, my speculations and future predictions for all Toyota cars have been pretty accurate, both in terms of design and also the specifications. So hopefully I'm still accurate with the foreigner predictions. So that's the front design. And I'm work still working through the side profile and the rear end, but I can almost bet you anything that this part is going to change. This is a very prominent foreigner design with a very large C-pillar and a sort of a narrower D-pillar. And this is what people associate the Forerunner with. But if you look at the Toyota Sequoia and some of the new models coming out from Toyota, this is the old fashioned design. So I'm almost certain that this will change to kind of blackout style, uh, which is what I have in my rendering. And uh, hopefully that they will keep the roll down window, but the most likely that's gonna be gone as well. I know people are very upset about that, uh, but because the Sequoia has lost a rear window, I would suspect that we're going to lose it for the new gen um, Forerunner, but who knows? With all the uproar coming through my uh, videos where people are talking about that, perhaps it's not too late to re-engineer that back into the Forerunner, but that's something we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I think uh, there's lots of controversy about the rear tail lamp as well in terms of the next gen Forerunner. I really don't think they're going to keep this blocky design. It's going to look more like a Sequoia with a kind of a long uh, tail lamp that will most likely cover up to here on this side and from here to this side right here. So it's going to probably look more like a Sequoia because right now I think Toyota is trying to uh, carry a design theme across the board and try to keep that familiarly and look and feel that will be instantly recognizable as Toyota. So I know we all kind of like this style, but this is more than likely going to go away. Uh, so the rest of the design features, I'm still working through that. But for now, I've shown you the front design and I'm going to work on the rear design and give you the new rendering soon. Uh, and perhaps I can work on the interior too because the interior is going to be easier to predict just because I know what's happening with all of the changes in the newer Toyota models with a bigger 14 inch display and uh, less and less buttons. So it's easier to predict the interior as well. So let me work on those and those are coming your way. And also I've done lots of videos about the part train. So I'm not gonna talk about that today, but you guys already know that uh, more than likely that the V6 is going away and in its place, it's a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, a four cylinder engine, which I know will upset many of you guys. But if you look at all of the recent Toyota models, then clearly that's the direction they're going from V8 to V6, then V6 to four cylinder engine. So I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Although I'm quite confident that the Lexus GX, which is basically a twin of the 4Runner, will have a twin turbo V6 engine instead of a turbo 4. And that's one way to distinguish the Lexus GX from the Toyota 4Runner. So 
those are some of the things that we still have to talk about as we discover more and more about the 6th gen Toyota 4Runner. So let me know what you think of my new rendering and new image. Give me some feedback so I can continue to work on it. And then I will work on other parts of the 4Runners in terms of design and features and get that out to you. And I just want to thank you a lot for being part of my channel and for watching my videos. If you can give me the thumbs up, make some comments and subscribe, that would be truly appreciated. But until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.